Welcome back, Zero K fans. Sorry, I have a small break. Just getting into the next finals, and also me walking around, making sure I wasn't too tired. You now I'm walking around, stretching a bit, doing some jumping jacks, getting some chocolate. You know, all things to keep myself awake. I know I don't drink coffee, but I figure that you know, chocolate has some sugar in it. We're talking 85% dark chocolate here, so it's not got a huge amount of sugar, but I figure it might help a bit. And water. A couple of glasses of water. So I think we're good. I think I'm good. We're on to Google Frog versus Cubay. Oops. Okay, one sec, sorry. We're on to Google Frog versus Cubay, and where was this? I hear. And this is semifinals. Randy and Lowry. It was Randy 1-2-1. One, one. A couple exciting games. Which, the sponge, if you would so kindly update, would be great. And now we're on to Cubay and Google Frog, which is going to be on Wanderlust again. As with last time, with semifinals match starts in Wanderlust. That's how it works in this tournament, is that every game starts with... Or rather, every series starts with a particular map, and then the loser chooses afterwards from whatever featured maps there are. Anyway, game is beginning, and we have Google Frog in the southwest side of the map going for... Well, not sure yet. Oh, there we go. Going for air start once again. Another air start and jump bots for Cubay, which is of no surprise whatsoever. Because Cubay loves his jump bots. And also no sound. Sorry about that. Yeah, Cubay is in love with jump bots. Definitely, definitely does play them a whole lot. And is... Oh wait, no, the jump bots. Wait. No, sorry, I'm thinking shield bot felon ball with convicts. That's what I'm thinking of. I mean, Cube plays everything pretty much, but yeah, I'm thinking. I does play jump bots, but no, I am thinking. I am thinking of something else. So, Cube and Google Fox, you can see, are evenly matched for Elo. So this should be, this should be an interesting set of matches. First Pyro goes down right away, though. This Bomber is definitely an interesting start. The bomber itself got caught on fire, but... Ultimately, that does work. Getting rid of that Pyro right off the bat, and Cubay gonna be building up an Archangel almost... No, just Puppy. No, Archangel after Puppies. There we go. So, six Puppies so far, just to help defend somewhat. Though Cubay is running a Recon Com, so a couple of... Okay, three ravens actually, but yeah, a couple of ravens will get pretty close to killing it. This is kind of a repeat of the Randy Lowry game on this map. Except Lowry went for hovercraft, but still, otherwise it's basically the same. I'm not sure why Lowry was going for hovercraft so much. We'll see in the bronze match if Lowry keeps doing hovercraft, but that was, I think it was every game was hovercraft actually. The Google Frog is building up yet another Raven, and the other Ravens are just going around basically in the best possible locations just to avoid getting into any any conflicts before they hit their target. Although Archangel... Wait. No Archangel? Really? What? I guess Cuba figured didn't have enough resources... Or didn't have resources in time. Because Archangel is expensive. You get 300, it's 550 metal. That is expensive. Going for defenders instead, I guess, is the option to do. And down go... Ooh, sheesh, ouch. Ooh, for lost a raven to that pretty handily. And we'll lose another one as well, flying over the same area. Two ravens go down right away. The third raven is up, and more ravens are being constructed. I'm not sure what Google Frog is going to try to snipe. Probably Gubay's commander. At this point in the game, definitely fatal. But I don't know if... It's going to work. And yeah, in case you're wondering, I have, for graphics, some people in the chat are asking about my graphics settings. I have it on Ultra, plus I have the Bloom plugin on, uh, the Bloom widget on, the Outlines widget on, the Blurry Halo Selection widget on, and that's about it. There's a few others that I have on too, but there's our defaults. And X-ray shader, which is nice for that sort of mid-distance where you can sort of you can kinda of make out the units, but it's not quite icon worthy yet. 
Anyway, Puppy's coming in for Cubey just to get rid of as many melee charges as possible, which looks like it's going to be about two, especially with the Swifts kind of getting in the way. But hey, that still gets rid of two. Oh, this puppy might be trying to get through here. No, it's not. And in fact, is what is it? Is it just scouting here? I think it is. I think Cube is just yet yeah, leaving that there to see what's happening. And now he's gonna go to kill. Another melee strata goes down. Google Frog down to 11 metal, so Cube ahead on metal. Building up another pyro. More pyros coming up. Not even gonna bother with the Archangels, just figuring to go for pyro. And Spider Factory, okay. This is more familiar. Jumper versus Spider, which we saw in the very first game on Quicksilver today. One of the round of 32 matches, if I recall correctly. In fact, I believe that was the Mortuaris Mortis and Magman game. And that was on this particular map. And people were thinking that I didn't like spiders. But it is... Oh, are you guys having issues with the quality of graphics? Because... I actually stream at 1280 by 720. And if it's blocky, it shouldn't happen. If I move the camera too quickly, it will kind of block up a bit, which is why I try to avoid doing that. And it's also why I do run on 720p60 with the fast H.264 setting, because I can't run a higher bit rate without people complaining, and I can't run that low of a bit rate without getting macro block problems. Anyway, so we are seeing fleas being built up and more bombers as well. Oh, okay, Ravens. Ravens, if they didn't one-shot pyros, they'd be in a really tight spot. But they do one-shot pyros, so it works out nicely. And Jax coming in as well. The Google Frog coming in with the Jax and will be... Well, Jax and pyros. The Jax should be able to tank the bombers, no problem, if they are the main target. But Google Frog does have fleas outside, just so, he, just so it's known... I mean, some line of sight knowledge of what's going on. Although one of the fleas repositioning itself at a poor time. But overall, Google Frog pretty well aware of what QB is up to. QB, on the other hand, only got line of sight, no radar, not a whole lot of scouting forces out there. The Pyros are moving out to scout, but that's not really. That's a little bit front. I mean, QB is really relying on their assumptions of what's going on in the map and loses a Pyro to those assumptions. And Hermit's coming up as well. Oh. Okay, that's weird, apparently. Okay, so someone's saying that their game looks blocky when they play it. I don't know. That sounds a little weird, but maybe it's just that it takes a while? Like the frame rate's low? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is Pyro coming in here does manage to dodge out the bomber. That is huge, but another bomber gonna kill it. Does destroy the metal extractor by burning. However, that's still... Actually, that, this this bomber is burning as it flies. It cannot heal up because there's another bomber that is being recharged and rearm, or repaired and rearmed. But now finally I can. I mean, that's not the biggest deal, but it does mean it buys more time between bomber runs. And the Archangel has finally been built, though admittedly it might be a little bit too late because the bomber is kind of the only threat. That being said, well, hey, this Jack will be able to get through the spider threat no problem. As we saw last time, that Venoms just stop Pyros completely, but Jacks are a good counter to that. Our Venom is up, a couple of Venoms are up, and a Pyro actually, oh, surprisingly able to get out of that. That, that is surprising. That being said, though, Google Frog still does have, okay, Couple ravens and another. Okay, defender goes down, so that area is opened up for Google Frog. But the spiders have to be forced to retreat. The venoms are destroyed, and their hermits are running back home, but getting killed. They cannot run fast enough. Pyro was able to stop them, and now the archangel is finally going to be of some use. The is the raven going to get close enough? No, it, the raven was rather careful on that one. I think Google Frog, Google Frog is well aware of where that archangel is and does want to avoid it. And once the Jack Rover gets jumped, then Google Frog's commander is going to be in a bit of a tight spot. There's going to be about, like, three seconds or so left. Or not even three seconds. Not even, it's not even jumped yet. Good jump at will. But Google Frog's commander about to go down, and there it goes. 
Down it goes. 14 men, like Google Frog, whatever economic advantage they had from metal extractors has been nullified by the loss of their commander. And Jack coming in just to try to finish this off. Getting rid of, well, everything they can, really. Getting rid of the factories, the big priority. Just kill that off, and but apparently it missed the Jack as well. So the Jack is just running around in circles, hitting the factory, and ultimately will kill it in time. Before the bomber is able to finish it, that spider factory goes down, and I think Cubay may have this match. Jack's going to jump up here, try to take out this builder before taking out the air factory, though immediately it will die. The next bomber hit will kill, and there we go. Oh, no, another miss. Yet another miss. But that one hits. That right next to the ground does hit. Still, Google Frog. Got some Venoms around the map, got some Fleas around the map, but not much in the way of economy. Yeah, there's really not much, and this is economy view. And there's about seven metal extractors compared to about nine. So ultimately, although the ninth one's just now being built, well, okay, it's almost constructed. Yeah, that that's what there is. Cube is just going to take advantage of this, push in with a load of pyros for the kill. And that will probably be game one. Now, game two shortly after, because Google Frog still gets another chance. And whoever wins that, whoever wins this, I mean, whoever wins this goes to the finals to fight against Randy. And whoever loses will fight against Lowry for third place. But Pyro is able to come in, and that was a nice dodge, by the way, that Pyro over here. But won't be able to dodge a second time. Well, actually, will miss the second time. The risky thing about being near the airplane itself with a jack is that as the plane rises off the ground, it gets a very accurate first shot. However, it's also going to burn to death. Because that's what happens with Pyro. And Google Frog throws in the towel. That is game one. A very quick game one. We're going to have game two in just a moment. Cube takes game one pretty handily with jump bots against an air start. Raids out successfully. That's what you're supposed to do. You raid it out and also just did defending as the attacks that came in. Pushed back and won. So we're going to have another game in just a moment. And... Okay, well, it is probably going to be even faster than that because the players need to choose the map. So we'll be back with that once that is set up. Stay tuned. Welcome back, 0K fans. Shadow Fury 33 with game two of... Cube and Google Frog semifinals is going to be on Common Catcher Redux because Google Frog is a cruel, cruel man. But so far, actually, people have been making it quick, which I appreciate. And that's going to be once they get started, which will be pretty soon because they're in the game, they're getting their commander set up and everything. Yeah, so far, the CCR games actually haven't been too bad. They've been a little bit chaotic to spectate, but they have. They do have a tendency, in some cases, to get long. So we'll see. Hopefully this doesn't get too long. But we're beginning. So Google Frog starting out on the south side of the map, going for Hovercraft Factory, because why not? And Heavy Tanks! QB going for Heavy Tanks! Something different! My goodness, something different. I've been seeing Hovercrafts all the time. I, thought, I never thought I'd actually say that Hovercrafts are coming up too often. But yeah, it was Hovercraft Mirror, last two CCR games. Now we have something different. Google Frog going for Hovercrafts, but Cubay going for Heavy Tanks. And... That is... Well, a couple of melee strategies for Cubay right now. We have Kodachi coming out quickly before a bunch of Panthers. No welder right off the bat. Well, that is weird. While Google Frog goes for a couple... A couple daggers before a quill. Expanding pretty quickly from there, though. The commander's not being used for expansion at the moment, surprisingly enough. Cube only using their commander for expansion, not building any any of the welders yet, but I imagine that they probably will interleave them somewhere. They'll hit you know, Alt-Q or whatever and get that in there. 
For now, though, no, the commander only. So Google Frog's gonna have an easier time building an economic advantage at this point than Cube is, but we'll see what Cube has up their sleeve. Bear in mind that Cube did win game one, so there's some leeway. Oh, the win counter is off. Play order got messed up. Anyway, Cube did win, so there's some leeway. And. Other than that, there is... I'm just saying, Kiwi actually doing a pretty good job with Kodachi killing off the daggers. Although, it has to be careful about that. Does hit another dagger here. And, oh, did that... That was friendly fire. From the looks of it. Uh, that is burn to death, but... Yeah. Burns up one metal extractor, burns up another metal extractor. Kiwi is doing awesome harassment. This Kodachi. Hero Kodachi right here. He's already made cost, possibly twice now. Killed off two metal extractors. Gonna kill off another dagger probably right now. Although it's about to die. No, it's gonna get killed. It's in a bad spot. There it goes, but still got rid of two metal extractors. Cube pushing forward and now into Panthers because the Panthers are really what's gonna be the base tech. Gonna be the real backbone, bread and butter of Cube's forces right now as heavy tank. But still, that opening Kodachi, that is what an opening Kodachi should do. Like, that was. Reasonably speaking, couldn't have expected much better. I mean, I suppose it could have gone around and then back down here, maybe. That would have been better, but otherwise, no, that that was good. Google Frog is going for a counterattack, though, and a couple Panthers are ready to intercept. Cubay not quite aware of this, though. Google Frog does have radar. Cubay does not. Cubay didn't have radar last game, either. I think Cubay is very much dependent on game sense and line of sight. On CCR, I suppose I just have a hard time trusting it, given how open the map is, given how many options the opponent has for what they can do. And, yes, my graphics do have a black outline. I find it makes visibility of units a lot better at distance. This is, it just makes it a lot easier when I'm zoomed out to see where the units are. And it also makes it a lot easier to distinguish the units from the terrain. On Comic Catcher, it's actually not too bad. That's one of the nice things about this map, is it's really easy to tell what units are. Like, the units, between the units and the terrain, it's actually fairly distinguishable. But not all maps are like that, so outline provides just a nice baseline distinguishability level. They don't get without it. Anyway, Panther's coming in, and one of them's about to go down to the daggers. It's got to be careful, though. It's If it's smart, it will go near the daggers before dying. Act like a tick, but no, unfortunately, it does not. However, the Panther that does survive will still be able to get rid of a couple daggers before going out. That was not the most even trade. I mean, 300 metal for... Okay, that was an even trade. For cost, yeah. That was about four or five daggers. So that's 80 metal, I think. 80 metal each. So 320 metal total. Actually, even more than that. No, 340 metal total. So, that was an even trade. That was actually a slight profit for Cube, and Cube is getting an advantage economically, despite the fact that Google Frog had their commander and a quill. Cube is actually able to get the economic advantage partly from the harassment. Without the harassment, Cube would have about the same economy. Sorry, would have a weaker economy. But, ultimately. Ooh, nice shot there. Although, that's still gonna die out. Oh, it missed! Panther missed and thus dies for its failure. It failed physics and died horribly. I really thought of physics like sort of Bond, James Bond overlord, but you know what? Apparently it is, at least to some extent. You're to hear first, folks. Physics is a Bond villain. Actually, no. Physics is more like Darth Vader, because that's more the you have failed me thing. It's both, really. Physics is an evil overlord. Sometimes. If you miss, it really is. If you screw up, it doesn't, take any, it doesn't cut you any slack. But there are more Kodachi. Actually, Kodachi is interesting. Switch over. There are Kodachis and Panthers where they came from, but yeah, that's interesting switch. I can kind of see why. They are a semi-riot unit. Panthers are more single target, so against a lot of daggers, may not be the best choice. Kodachis, however, do deal most of their damage over time. Their initial hit is only 120 damage. And the daggers do have 300 health, so a couple of them will be able to kill a dagger, and a few daggers because they have a splash. But a lot of their damage is from the damage over time. They may not easily survive, however, with the health they have, that's actually not necessarily true. 750 health each. 
That is compared to the Panther, which I think is 900. No! 980. I underestimated. So the Kodachi will be pretty good at dealing with the daggers. And in high enough numbers, it's just a little bit risky because otherwise they're not the best. It's just because of the damage over time thing. Basically, retaliation is very possible. However, harassment is also very, very, very possible, and that's exactly what Cubay is doing. Going around the back, making sure that Google Frog cannot build up. Or what Google Frog has built up isn't used, but yeah, there we go. Cubay does see it. Cubay gets rid of it. One of the metal extractors goes down, another metal extractor about to go down, and a quill also about to go down. Although a bit of overkill on just trying to dispatch that, but still. Getting rid of the metal extractors, getting rid of the quill, getting rid of further metal extractors. Sweeping around the south side would be very powerful right now. Cubay needs to do that, although Cubay is apparently more focused on this area here, right in the center of the map, where a decent front battle is coming in. One of the Kodachis is about to die. It will self-heal, though, so it just gets out of the way. Heals itself up and comes back in. More Kodachis being built. This is the first time I've really seen Mouse Kodachi. No one ever really does this. Although against Hovercraft, it makes sense, but it just doesn't happen a whole lot. It also would make sense against, say, Mass Glaive. Now, Scalpels would work really well to counter this, and Panthers would work decently to counter that. Actually, Banishers would work better. Reapers would work better. Actually, no, actually, at that point, that's... We saw in the Onyx Cauldron game that at that point you switch factories. <laughs> Once they pull out the scalpels because it just destroys the land under you. And, oh yeah, pointing out the commanders, in the, the constructors in the north could be split up to be more efficient. Which would help because at this point Cuba's advantage is already there. Cuba's economic advantage could be increased. Though it's still there, but yeah, one good harassment run would still kind of ruin it. Though admittedly... All of these, all these daggers are being just worn down. I mean, yeah, damage over time, that is, like I said, part of the weakness. Is that it is largely damage over time. But even then, the daggers are taking a lot of damage, getting softened up quite a lot. I mean, there's already a couple that are half health, and I don't, I don't, I think they do self-heal, but I don't see them doing that right now. And down go even more metal extractors. Cubay is just ripping apart Google Frog's economy. If Cubay wins this, that's on to the finals. It's Cubay Randy finals. But, which really show how much Cubay has improved. Right. And if not, then we're on to game three. Google Frog gets another chance, and it is perfectly even. But at this point, I don't know. Cubay is doing quite well. It's just Cubay isn't quite being as efficient as possible. That's one thing is. These welders are building the metal extractors faster, going for getting individual metal extractors faster than just getting territory. So that's one thing Cubay is possibly going to have a problem with, is getting enough territory to keep going. Now, out of Kodachi's at the moment, switch over to Reapers. But yeah, out of Kodachi's, the harassment is currently over. This point is going to be just direct assaults, not much else. And that is... Well, two Reapers, one Banisher, one, two Banishers coming in actually, so pair of each. And Cubase Commander is building up even more Caretakers, switching over to, oh, not switching over to anything, just getting a Fusion Plant. And Google Frog going for an Air Switch. Kind of missed that, just happened, but yeah, Google Frog goes for an Air Switch. Decent idea though, a Copperhead could just tear it apart. Airplane factory for Cubay. That was what he wanted, meant to go for. The fusion plant was a mistake. Airplane factory, which goes up inside of five sec or inside of ten seconds, and then from there it's just going to be Hawks getting air control, and then from there probably Mass Raven, probably going for a calm kill. Although admittedly, calm snipe when you have an enemy with 64 metal is not that big of a deal. Although Goofuck does have a fusion reactor and is going to get another one fairly soon, so Goofuck getting a lot of overdrive. Whereas Cubay focusing most of their overdrive on solar collectors. Bit of a different way of going about it. Yeah, how many Hawks are up so far? Four Hawks so far. And the Ravens are going to... Well, they're going to bite it after they get damage in, so they aren't completely worthless. And Reapers as well are coming in, which... I mean, the thing is... I said damage, not death. Reapers are extremely tough units. Trying to kill them is not trivial. And like I said before, daggers work best 
against large numbers of forces, and this isn't large numbers. However, we do have scalpels, and what I, what did I say before? Time for a fact switch, because... They're actually, you know, I can't bury in the ground so much. Not in this map. Comic Catcher apparently does not have as much... as soft ground as Onyx Cauldron does. Onyx Cauldron, I guess, is fairly soft ground. Didn't realize. Yeah, apparently it does, because... The Reapers are doing just fine getting through here. Oh, and looks like they're going to go for the Fusion Plant. It's going to be a tough shot, though. And it's also a lot of Hawks that are distracting Scalpel, so getting this right is going to be tricky. Ah, and doesn't manage to do it. Went for the Caretaker instead, which wasn't a bad idea, because Google Frog now has massive economic advantage thanks to Overdrive. Thanks to two Fusion Reactor over... No, just one Fusion Reactor, actually. Well, one Fusion Reactor is pushing the power enough. The other one's actually providing the power. But if these get connected, it's going to be huge. And Google Frog is just building power plant after power plant, and has most of the map, although most of the map is actually pretty open, but most of the map is under his control. However, caretakers are going to go down, so at least the production advantage isn't going to be a thing. And once again, another shot goes off. Though, the caretakers are probably going to burn to death. Ah, there we go, there we go, second Napalm Bomber. Second Phoenix comes in and should be able to destroy the Caretakers. Although no Aryan is being built, so these Caretakers aren't actually doing anything. And these ones aren't either. They're actually healing each other rather than trying to just add production time. So, yeah, Google Frog actually not able to produce as much as they'd like. Although no Heavy Tanks being produced either. I think QBA is thinking that there are Scalpels don't build Heavy Tanks. But at the same time, we have... Oh, Cloaky Bot Switch. That makes sense. Although, admittedly, it's not a proxy Cloaky, but still. Cloaky Switch, while proxy Heavy Tank Factory from Google Frog, the center of the map that is now being used for Copperheads. And Fusion Plant Snipes... Or Fusion... Sorry, Fusion Reactor Snipes. Getting rid of Google Frog's economy and knocking down... I think a lot of this is actually reclaimed. The metal is coming from... We have two Fusion Plants go down. The last one's still alive, but two of them did just go down taking care of a lot of the reclaim, and also reducing the... Well, making the energy the bottleneck, like basically, a production. However, QBA doesn't seem to be aware of this area here. No, total blind spot. Does have radar. Doesn't have a vision of this area. Doesn't know there's anything there. That may be QBA's undoing. We'll see, though. Remains to be seen whether or not QBA is actually going to fall to that. And QBA sending more and more ravens... Really think you should be sending all these ravens at once. Now sending the ravens in, kind of more one at a time. Getting rid of the other fusion plant. There we go. Knocks that out. Damages the airplane plant. Sorry, fusion. Fusion plant. Fusion. Actually, that's right. Yeah, fusion power plant. Fusion reactor. That's what it's called. So getting rid of the fusion reactor. Although honestly, why not just send all these units at once? Send the units now. Welders are going around the map, kind of scouting out and seeing what metal extractors there are. Probably trying to build some, but really can't, and then just shooting them down because, well, Walders can actually fire. And Hubei has now found Google Frog's secret base with Heavy Tank Proxy Factory. And the Glaze will be able to get rid of the Copperheads decently well, but at the same time, we do have... Lo there are Lotuses, and there are... There we go. There are a lot of Ravens coming in, but the Ravens can get rid of the tank, the Heavy Tank Factory, get rid of the Fusion Plant, get rid of the Commander! That was just completely out of the blue. Blinds out of the commander, killed it off, and down goes the factory as well. That was rather ignoble into the commander, but, well, it happens. <laughs> Especially when you have a dozen and a half ravens just bearing down. It doesn't last long. Gotta say that much, it really doesn't last long. There are still three copperheads, which are proven to be a slight problem with the ravens, but not so much for the glaives, and... Just glaives after glaive after glaive. Three seconds of glaive. Swarming through here, tearing apart the gobberheads. And at this point, Cuba is probably going to take this whole area for themselves economically and then probably rip apart the main base, actually. Another fusion plant coming up. A Google Frog very much bottlenecked by energy. Only 23 power right now. And Cuba, on the other hand, is 55 and 57. So Cuba can't quite overdrive, but not quite bottlenecked either. Getting a fusion reactor next to the airplane plant. Would say it's not the best idea, except that Google Frog's not likely to have anything to actually destroy the fusion reactor with. Especially though the force is coming through, and Glaive is coming in. Cubay just sending in the minimum number of Glaives to kill off any given metal extractor, and tearing apart all of Google Frog's metal extractors, 
ripping apart the economic advantage Google Frog briefly had. At the same time, going along the southwest side, probably going to destroy what exists there, but most likely just going to send one bomber to each metal extractor and the rest to get rid of the factories. And that should probably take the game. We'll see how this goes. Kyube is now paying attention to these bombers. Does have them under control, and some of them, okay, all attacking this area here. All this tearing apart this entire western base. And down go more metal extractors. Reclaim is the main reason why I think Google Fox still has an economy right now. Yep, there's Reclaim. Reclaim everywhere. Actually, where is all the Reclaim happening? Yeah, Reclaim's all happening inside the base. A lot of, well, actually, not much. No, not much Reclaim at all. In fact, those metal extractors are still fairly important. But there is overdrive once again, and actually a lot of overdrive. That double overdrive for everything that's here. And there's a lot of metal extractors here. So there's about seven or so metal extractors. So five or so metal extractors that have been doubled in power or in production capacity of metal. Of course, they get hit, killed, and that kind of does it in. And with all these glaives bearing down, that's not going to be hard to do. As well as the bombers coming in as well. The bombers could just tear it apart. Google Frog still. Kind of has air advantage with the Swifts, but Hawks and Bombers coming in should be able to tear apart anything. And the Glaives will be able to tear apart ground-based anti-air, and frankly, pretty much anything else. So, at this point, Google Frog's economy is basically a combination of Reclaim and Overdrive. Having nearly well, two and a half times Overdrive on all of these metal extractors. Or at least two times Overdrive, and it's... It's going to be harassed up by the Glaives, and the Glaives... Hitting the valuable metal extractors as well, which is going to basically deal with a fatal blow. I think Google Frog trying to reclaim as best as they can, but honestly, Cubay just has the map control now. Cubay has everything. So, Glaives are coming in. The Daggers are doing a good job. Like I said, Daggers do well against groups, and that's what we have here. Group of Glaives. But if the Glaives were to go further in, they die the Defender, so I guess that's kind of why they don't. But at this point, I think, really, just all these Aryans could push in and kill off everything. I think Cubase is trying to consolidate their advantage. Just trying to get themselves up, make sure they have a large department they can push in to kill and be sure about it. Banishers coming in as well, along with a couple welders. Actually, not just a couple welders, quite a few welders. Like I said, there we go, taking the entire center of the map. Now, not splitting the workers, unfortunately. This is where splitting workers would be much more useful than having them try to assist each other. Like, just even just two pairs. Like one pair going along this way and one pair going along this way. That should work fine. And Glaze coming in once again. Just a lot of Glaze being pushed in by Cubay. And honestly, Cubay can get away with that. Very easily can Cubay get away with that. 11k in total metal cost of units. Scalpels getting countered. Uh, Scalpels do get countered by the Glaze, by the way. That mentioned in the Onyx Cauldron game we saw that. And Cubay is going for it. And this is going to basically, I think, be it. I think... Okay, once these units get in. If these units get in, that will be it. The bombers get in. The hawks and ravens are used. That will be it. If not, it's going to be a little bit longer. Banishers are still being pulled up, and that will help a lot against the daggers. Unlike the glaives. The glaives are having a bit of a weakness against that. Only nine of them left right now. More than being built of... No, no, no. Never mind. All the production is being pushed into heavy tanks, which is a little surprising, given that there's actually enough economy strength to make cloakies as well, but I guess they just ran out. Didn't go into repeat build. And I think Cuba is going to go for another factory. Give him these three caretakers here. Looks like another factory is going to be built up. And also, a wall of Lotus is just to make it that much harder for Google to get out of there. So really, at this point, there are some halberds coming in, doing what they can, but as soon as they pull out their weapons... They are going to go down very fast, because that's what happens with Halberds. If they are attacking, they have low defense, and they therefore die to Glaives. Although, Millie, this many Glaives is still pretty powerful, even if they are in defense mode. And the Reapers and Banishers have... Or sorry, Banishers, just Banishers. The Reapers are not being built. But Banishers have arrived and are taking care of basically everything. Although, admittedly, getting rid of these daggers... It's going to be a bit tricky, but I think there are enough. I think there are enough Banishers to get rid of the Reapers. Sorry, get rid of the Daggers. No Reapers in play. So Google Frog trying desperately to build, do anything he can. No, never mind. Not even trying anymore. GG. That is game. That is match. Cubay moves on to the finals. 
2-0. Well done, Cube. So Cube and Randy is the finals, but first we will have Google Frog and Lowry, the bronze match. That will be up once it's up. Yeah, Google Frog and Lowry are the bronze match. So we'll get that up first, and then after that, we'll have the finals of Randy and Cube. Who's wow, okay. I mean, just want to say, Cube, remember in the May tournament, although the Millie that wasn't especially well attended tournament, Cube kind of flopped around a bit and then lost. He didn't really, it wasn't that he just lost, it was that the way he had done anything just didn't make any sense what he was doing. And now he is a shot for first. This guy has been practicing and has improved a great deal. Very impressive that. So, yeah, I guess Randy too. I mean, we'll see how it goes because Randy is really powerful, so Cube's gonna have tough road in order to beat the finals, but you know what? Still has gone this far. Also, Sponge, if you could update this, that'd be great. Yeah, that was... Unless I can update it. No, I can't. Okay, well, that will be that. So... Well, Kiwi's taking a break before finals, that's fine, because we just need a louder... There we go, louder go for 